Hello guys, welcome back to VFIX Technology. In this tutorial of Laravel CRUD, we will be learning how we can go ahead and insert a new record into our database. So let's go ahead and start with the controller part. So as we have seen in the previous videos, we did create the controller by the name of post controller and we did make the validation so far. So in the validation, we go ahead and now we have to make the arrangement to insert the data. And let me say data equal to, I took the variation into this controller. And now I'll go ahead and we'll insert this data in the form of an array. Let me show you what I mean. So first thing first, that's a public function within the post controller. The method is stored. We are using request instance in form of request. So request is validating the title, body, and image. Now I'll go ahead and let me see. I would say if request, let's make the arrangement of the image first. Request has file or has image. Then we will create an image name. Image name is going to be time function. So we are creating our unique name of the image. Then I'll concatenate the extension. I would say request image that's the variable name then get client original you know extension it should bring the original extension of the image and we have how we are saving the image name what we gonna create a unique image name with the time function we are concatenating time with the image extension so now we have the image name now I'll go ahead and say request. Let's store the image. Image. And I'll use a function called move. And I'm going to use public path function. And here we will pass the path where we want to, to save the image. Uh, let's say uploads images. Then we have to pass the image name image name and it should upload the image finally in the array we're going to inject this image so i would say data image equal to image name that's the name which we're going to save into our database so let me explain this code first we are validating the data then if Within the request, if the image is there, it will create name of the image, unique name with the respective extension of the image. Then in the second line, we are, let me make the comment here, uploading image to server. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we have the logic ready here. Let's go ahead and let's insert the data. So I'm gonna say post, uh, we're gonna use the function create and insert the data variable. Now, if you see that the data variable has all the details and if there's an image in this data variable array, we are injecting an image key and the name of the image. So it should pass the image too. Now we're gonna return, uh, redirect or maybe return back with a success message and success message could be uh, let me see data let me say post has been created and uh, 
we can show this success message a quick note. Let's make a quick Google search. Laravel show success message. I wanted to show in a very fancy way, like in bootstrappy way. So it looks good. So let me see. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, it should work. So I'm going to copy this code and I'll explain this code too. Mm, post create above the form, above the card, I'm going to say, if you see that, if the session has, I'm going to say success, that's our key. And that's bootstrap classes, alert, alert, success message. Then here is the actual message from the controller. This, that's the key. Here's the message. So let's go ahead and give a shot if it works. Let's figure out what happens. Refresh. I'm going to insert the dummy data. And let me insert an image as well. And it says five. File supposed to be JPEG. Let me allow some more extensions. PNG should work. Again, I'm going to select the file. And here we have the first error. Get client original extension. My bad. There's a typo error here. Client original extension. Let's do it over. I'm going to go ahead, select an image. Perfect. It did work. Now you can see the success message. If I show you the database, how it looks like, localhost forward slash php my admin. And the database number is Laravel CRUD. Let me see. Let's check what was the name of the database. Mm. We're going to go to the ENV file. And it is Laravel underscore crud. So supposed to be here. Okay, within Laravel, Laravel crud. Now, if you see the post, we have one entry here. Let's click on it. That's the title here's the image name that's the body now it also should have uploaded the image if you go to uh, public uploads did you see that it itself created the folder uploads images and our image unique name this is how it works it should be simple and straightforward again last one time i'm going to explain this code just to say just to make sure you guys have understood how it works we did create a controller named post controller. We did create a method called store method. We passed the request instance so we can access the data, the request coming from form. We did create a variable data and within data, we have validated the request. So if you see that the data has all the form inputs, title, image, body, include the validation. Now, this is an array. So far, image is not injected. So it's supposed to have an image name. So what I did, I did make this arrangement. If request has image, which will come from the form, first thing, we will create a unique image name. Then we're going to move the image, request image move, public function, public path, and this specific folder along with the name. Now, image has been uploaded so far. Now, with the data array, we are inserting an image attribution uh, image variable and we are passing the image name this is how it works and finally we post create that's the model and we are using creating fun create function and inserted the data here and passed a success message hopefully hopefully it should make sense to you guys if you see any situation comment below and i'll try to help you out in next video we're going to be showing how we can show the data. Thank you. Stick with the series and subscribe the channel. Bye for now.